Hi, I'm Brandon from OnFair. We are the leading online retailer for car headrest DVD players. Now I want to share with you power cables. Let's talk about power cables. Now, I have a feeling that you're watching this video because you bought power cables from, or headrests, excuse me, from somebody else besides us, right? Shame on you. And you received a power cable without a cigarette lighter plug. Now, you're looking for power cables for your headrest DVD players that include cigarette lighter plugs so that you can install them easier. Ah, now I know how that works because all of our headrest DVD players come with power cables that have cigarette lighter plugs on them. And almost all of our competition copycats, people who like to copy us, don't copy us 100%, but sell headrests that look like ours, but they don't include the cigarette lighter, thinking they can save a dollar or two. Right? Okay. And so now your question is, which power cables will match the headrests that you purchased from somebody else? I'm going to help you with that. All right. Basically, for most headrests that are on the market right now, headrest DVD players, there's three, let me use this hand, there's three different types of power cables. Now let me show them to you. This is power cable A for us because it's an older model, it's been around a lot longer so we started with A. And the key is, is it's got a bigger end on it, okay? It looks like an S video end, um, maybe it is, but um, it looks like an S video cable and the, so the trick is if you're looking at your headrest DVD player and it's got a big end on it that looks like this and it, it can't slide through the post that's running through the post, right? The post is stuck when you get to the end because it's too big. It's most likely this cable. Now, this cable offers power, so it's got red and black. It also offers the AV in, audio and video in, so it's got the yellow, red, and white. Um, and so there's basically, I believe, five pins on this, this cable, okay? Five pins that are functioning, right? Now, if you're looking for this power cable, look for power cable A. It will include the cigarette lighter plug. And it also allows you to install to a fuse box later on. So there you have it. Power cable A, the big end. Does not slide off the posts. Now, let's go to power cable B. This one was on models that were introduced a year or so ago. Now, this is on some of our models, but also some of other models as well. It's a smaller end, and so yes, it will fit through the post. It's a little tight, it's a little snug, it will fit. I'm not gonna try right now. Oops, I'm on the wrong end, that's why. Um, the other end will fit through, okay. So, now, this one also, are for headrests, the thing to look for on power cable B are headrests that have two cables going down the posts, both sides, okay? So you have your power and AV in, and then you've also got your AV out on the other side, really. That's basic, or excuse me, um, make sure I get this right. Yeah, AV in and power, and then your AV out is on the other end. So if your headrest has a small end, could be red, it might be black, um, they are the same shape, some are different colors. And you've got two cables. If you've got two cables, again, it's going to have one, two, three, four, five plugs, basically. Um, this is probably the power cable you want. Power cable B, again, with a cigarette lighter plug, red and black for a fuse box, and then RCA in. I believe these are in, in cables. Okay. Power cable B. Now, the difference now is the newest models. These are going to be mostly our Autotain models and ones that might look like this, even though they're not the same. Trust me. They look like this, but they're not the same. And other models. Um, they are the headrests that have only one cable going down the post right now, and not two. That's the key. Okay. So basically, this end looks the same as this end. Don't let the colors fool you. Sometimes they're black on this one, too. But, this end has actually three more prongs on it. So it's got three, six, eight. So there's actually eight cables running through here. It's a small end. It will slide through the posts. 
Um, but if your headrest have only one cable running down, and it's got a small end on it, then you have both AV in and AV out on there through RCA cables. This is power cable C. This is the one you want, power and AV cable C. Again, your cigarette lighter that you've been looking for, and red and black wires in case you'd like to hook to the fuse box a little later. There you have it. So, recapping, power cable A, headrests have two cables going down and it's a big end. Power cable B, two cables going down and it's a small end. Power cable C, one cable going down and it's a small end. All right, that should help you pick the right cable and buying from Onfair. Now, before you go, other things you might want to look at buying that are if you bought them from somewhere else to try to save some money that didn't didn't come included are the Versa posts. I want to talk about these Versa posts. Now, um, most vehicles come in headrest posts, right? Are either the diameter is either 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 12.7, or 14 millimeters. Now, the factories that are the the people who try to compete with us, our competition, tries to save money. So they cut corners, and they don't include the metal post for all the sizes in the vehicle. We think that's a big mistake. So the headrests come with 10 millimeter posts, but maybe that wasn't a snug fit in your vehicle, and they gave you something plastic to replace the distance. I don't like the plastic sleeves. Buy our Versa posts, which will then screw into these, these headrest pillows. Now, um, I'll show you something else in a minute. But then you can have the 12, the 12.7, or the 14 millimeter posts, metal posts, um, for a better installation. Um, very important. Now, if your headrests have the big end on it, the Versa posts won't replace your headrest posts. Sorry. The other thing that you should consider buying, if you're buying cigarette power plugs, is buying a splitter. If you've only got one cigarette outlet in your vehicle, you will need one power cable for each headrest, right? And so you will need a splitter so that you can plug two power cables in. So add that to your order. And then if you do decide to at one point power them up to the fuse box, we also sell uh, a fuse. Um, it's like an add a fuse so you can add the fuse um, to the, the wire and now you can easily connect up your red wires to your fuse box without having to work really hard. And the final thing that you should consider buying are better headphones. So if you bought a cheaper package, you either got no headphones, you got single channel headphones, or you got a uncomfortable headphone. And your kids are gonna complain about it later. Autotain, we've introduced the Autotain Cloud Headphone. Now we searched hard and long for this and what we found was headphones with very soft pads. Now we've tested a ton of headphones over the years. Very soft ear pads. The smaller design for smaller heads, which was another thing. Some, some headphone models aren't as good for, bit, for smaller heads. And the soft pillow. And this is also dual channel, A and B. So now look at, look for Autotain Cloud headphones as well. So there you have it. Get yourself two power cables, buy a splitter, fuse adapter, some Versa posts, and Autotain Cloud headphones. See all that money you saved buying cheaper from somebody else? Get it right the second time. All right. Thank you very much.